What is up, guys? We are back at the secret spot that me and my boy Dre used to come out and spearfish right when we got started with the channel a couple months ago. Um, if you haven't seen those yet, guys, go back and watch them. It was classic times with Dre um, learning how to spearfish. Now I feel like I'm doing a little bit better at it. Um, so I'm going to go hit this hole up. Uh, Dre's not here. Jordan's not here. None of my boys, none of my girls with me. It's just me. I'm out here getting some food. I'm hungry uh, and I don't have a lot of time today because uh, after I go fishing, I'm going to go volunteer at the farm. Um, so hopefully get some fresh produce from today's work and then can make a big, big meal out of it. So without further ado, let's get straight into the water. Wow, it is like a lake right here. Oh my gosh. Damn. Oh, the current here, guys, is crazy strong. I'm really having to fight it just to stay over this hole in the reef that I want to check out. So I'm going to hit this spot real quick and then drift uh, east a little bit and then and then uh, hopefully find something. But yeah, I'm, I'm fighting it once again today. So pretty challenging out here. You can see just from talking for that two seconds, I've been kicking this way the whole time, but still the, uh, the current has pulled me all the way back to my buoy and I dropped anchor all the way over there. So I'm going to fight it and get down there and try to hit some fish and then uh, drift for a little bit and then call it a day. That's really me just dead hanging guys. I am like getting ripped across this reef right now. So I'm gonna uh, pick up the anchor and then just drift across, hopefully find something while I'm drifting because it's not working to swim up current right now. Gonna pull him. Oh my god, he's a big one. Oh, he's fighting.
gonna be a tough battle. <sighs> oh my god, the current. That's why I can't stay down there. I'm fighting this current, fighting this octopus. I'm gonna, I have to take a break, honestly. I'll leave my spear down there. It's attached to it. I'm just gonna watch and chill. And then hopefully I can go down, give it one last hoorah, and finally get it out. What the fuck? Alright guys, <laughs> I thought I had it and I'm just gonna have to I'm gonna have to give up. This current is just way too strong and I don't think I'm gonna get that taco out so I'm gonna let it go and hopefully find something else down the way. Alright, I got distracted down there. I had a phone call, so I'm already up at the farm, um, but I want to show you guys what I caught out there. That was such a mess. Seriously, like I drifted like a quarter mile down the beach, so it was insane. Like I had to hike all the way back to where my car was parked, and then, um, oh my gosh, dude, that, that was like... Uh, like Discovery Channel, National Geographic, like right in front of me, the eel attacking the octopus, like what? And then it was, after after the eel attack, the octopus was just so far back in the cave, like I, I had no chance to get it. It didn't want to come out. Cause normally like when you poke them, it's like automatic, like you poke them and then they're like, oh, I don't like this anymore. And then they crawl out and then you grab them super simple. And that was not happening today. So I was over it. I came away with one leg. I still have uh, the frozen one cause I only cut it in half before. So I'm gonna show you guys eating that but for now check out this little tiny octopus leg that I have So there it is guys. That's all I have to show for my dive today. It was really really difficult out there um, But we got it done and I have this little octopus leg uh, that's basically not even a snack, but um, Accidentally came off kind of get the whole thing. So that's the deal for today. So I'll see you guys at the kitchen What's up guys? I'm here at my friend Brittany's house. Hi Brittany. Hi. And uh, I've got the octopus just defrosting down there. Um, I had it frozen for like a long time. Like I actually completely forgot if there was even a video to accompany this octopus cooking video. I was like, did I ever catch this octopus like on camera? And then it all came back to me when, when this little leg fell off of the octopus and I was like, oh yeah, the single leg. Today guys, we're gonna eat that single leg and then the other five legs that I have left from the last time that I caught octopus. This was with Jordan a while ago. Um, it looks like it's starting to cook already just a little bit because I've got it in the super hot water trying to defrost it. Um, so I might transfer that over to the seawater that I'm using once again, as always, I only have a little bit, so it's gonna be kind of a struggle. So we're gonna boil it in seawater like we always do. And then uh, me and my friend Brittany are gonna eat it. Are you excited to eat it, Brittany? Yeah, I'm stoked. Have you had an octopus before? Not like this, but yeah. Okay, like from a restaurant? Yeah. Okay, well, this octopus is the same. So hopefully <laughs> we can cook it as good. Um, I have no idea what kitchen supplies Brittany has, so we about to find out. Brittany, come help me with this experiment. What? Okay, so I want you to touch each of the legs, just this one and this one, and compare them. Like, give it some good squeezies. Okay. Okay. Now the other one. Do you notice anything peculiar? This one's squishier. Yes. So, what's really interesting is that when I got this one, I accidentally pulled it off of a living octopus. So this was removed from an octopus that was still alive, never killed it, um, and then didn't do anything to it. Like I didn't massage it or anything. It just felt super soft the whole time, even right after I pulled it off. I was just like, 
what is this thing? Because it like, wasn't dead? Oh, well, I don't know, because this one, when I catch it, I kill it, like, right away. Like, because you just grab it and pull its brains out, and then there's nothing there. But there's something about, like, Maybe getting... Maybe scared, so it, like, tensed up. Yeah, yeah, I think it's something like that. And so it makes me, like want to like grab the octopus and then pull each of its legs off while it's alive but it's just so fucked that i can't do that, <laughs> do that yeah. so um it's it's really interesting but this leg is going to be super special i'm excited to taste it because it is literally so soft like it is the most tender squishy <laughs> <laughs> i leg that i've ever felt <laughs> <laughs> it Gross. tastes so slimy. <laughs> All right, let's actually cook. So this part, I've noticed it doesn't taste super awesome. It's like the head and the tops of the legs. The beak is still in there. I never cut it out. Um, it's just not very tender. So I'm going to take some of these pieces off and um, just feed the dog. And he seems to enjoy. Munch, 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 munch. <laughs> He's like, where's more? <laughs> So that's it guys, we got this electric stove heating up, uh, everything already inside. Hopefully that starts to boil or do something soon. I got the squishy one right here, hopefully I can remember which is which, um, cause we wanna actually have a good experiment. Um, but if it gets mixed up, I guess we'll have to just taste test to tell. All right guys, we just took these off the heat. The smell in here is beautiful. Do you agree? Yeah. You smell it? it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it smells like that perfect combination of chicken and steak. I don't know what it is, but it smells dank. So I'm gonna pull these off right now and then nothing more to it than that. Do you have any fancy sauce that you can put on it? Hi guys. Oh, I'm just trying to just say hi. I'm just trying hi. to put a bowl, it's okay. okay. Um, you guys are welcome to some octopus if you want to try it. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna cut it up, dip it into sauce. Yeah, we'll do sriracha mayo. That'll be, that'll be good. All right, here's what we got on deck, guys. I did a little sriracha mayo, three parts mayo, one part sriracha, and then whatever this uh, sweet orange sauce is um that was in the fridge so these are the regular ones that came off the full octopus and this is the special flappy boy can you tell Brittany, by how it flops because look at this one it looks yeah, see how it's kind of stiff like and this one is like full yeah. flop mm -hmm. so i'm excited to eat that one um and yeah let's uh let's dig in so you can start it up Brittany. <laughs> every time i'm pointing the camera at you you're like <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, so you could just grab one of those and we've had them before, right? No. No? Oh, okay. Yeah, fish. just grab it and then like dip it like that and then just bite it. Choose just, your character. Just, yeah, just put them straight in. The, the springy zone is the best flavored part. Yeah, you. In the mouth. Mmm. Taste is major. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> All right, um, so I'm gonna cut this one now so that um, nobody mm. accidentally eats the whole thing. Um, and so we're all gonna get a little taste of this one and then compare. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, chewy. Tastes good though? It tastes good. <laughs> I don't Your think I've ever classic. had an octopus before. Are you ever gonna have it again? No. <laughs> <laughs> really? You should you should try it in a restaurant. It's better in a restaurant, I think. I still haven't figured out how to cook it perfectly, but restaurant octopus is super good. <sighs> Brittany, try one of the squishy boys. <laughs> in the sauce? Uh yeah, or plain, whatever you want. The dog. No, you're not getting any of that boy. Go for it. I don't know. Really? Too squishy? It's, yeah. You should try it. It's like... Really? Yeah, see? No. Okay, so it's still really soft. It's like a gummy bear almost. Yeah. Like. <sighs> I hate that. <laughs> gummy octopus 
here's the problem. <laughs> because I didn't scrape it on the reef like I did these ones, it still has all the sliminess on, on yeah. the outside. And so we're eating that like slimy octopus taste. <laughs> so the texture probably would be really good, but uh, no. I ruined it. It's okay. So hopefully I accidentally get another uh, leg like this, but um, the texture or the like, I'm just gonna try to rinse it, I don't know. Yeah, it tastes like a jellyfish. Well, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Brittany, I had fun giving octopus to you. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> Not the squishy one, but the other one was good. Yeah, the squishy one was super weird. Uh, so we got to recalibrate the technique on that. Um, but yeah, the normal one, I think I'm starting to get down to expert level cooking the octopus. Um, so for me, guys, that's it. I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed watching this crazy eel octopus battle that we had in the beginning. And then Brittany and I eating it. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and leave a comment telling Brittany how much you guys love her and I'll have her back on another episode. Okay, bye. <laughs>